Okay, this is the video for Math 7, quiz number 3, on adding and subtracting rational numbers. So we're focusing on fractions, decimals that are positive and that are negative. So the first example we're going to do is negative 5 eighths plus 3 eighths. So we need to look at our signs. We have a negative and a positive. This tells us that we're gonna be subtracting our numerators. Denominators are already the same. If they weren't, we'd have to make them the same, but they already are. So that is good, and we can keep the denominator an eight in our answer. So now we're gonna look at just the numerators, and we're gonna do negative five, and positive 3. Put those together, we get 2 because we have to subtract. They're not the same sign. So you subtract which number has a greater absolute value. The negative 5 does. So that means our answer is negative because we still have negative left over. Now the one thing we still want to do is look to see if we can reduce this. And we can. We can divide both of these by 2. We get negative 1 fourth. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. That is our final answer. Let's do another one with some decimals and integers mixed. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is box my numbers. So I have a negative 5. This is going to become positive 2, taking away anchors, positive 2. And this is positive 6.15, or 6 and 15 hundredths. Now we're going to look here. I would rather put my positives together first. So if I line up a 2 here with decimal form, I need to, this is a whole number of 2, so it goes under the whole number of 6. So we get 8. 0.15. So I'm going to bring that over here. Um, I'll put it here. 8.15. I'm going to bring down, so I've already added these together. I'm going to bring down the negative 5. This is positive 8.15. These were positives. So now I look and I have a negative and a positive. And I can't add them because they don't have the same sign, so I'm going to subtract. So over here, I'm just going to keep this going. I'm going to take away 5, which is the same as 5.00. I get 3.15. So my answer, this one has a bigger absolute value, it has more, is positive 3 and 15 hundredths. Okay, next one, 2 thirds plus 5 sixths. Okay, I see they don't have the same denominator, so I need to make them the same. 6 is a multiple of 3, so I can just change this fraction by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 2. I get 4 6 plus 5 6. Now, I can add them. They're both positive numbers, so I'm actually adding. So I get 4 plus 5, 9 on the top. And then I can simplify this. I can either make this a mixed number, which would be 1 and a half, or I can just divide both by 3, and I get 3 halves and leave it like that as improper. So one and a half or three halves, either way your answer would, would be fine. Okay, um, another one. The sum of negative 3.25 and positive 9.67. Okay, so I'm, I, it says sum, which means to add, but
but I know that if I have a negative and a positive, I'm not actually adding, I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to take this, since I already have this written, I'm going to take this and write it underneath here and subtract. Okay, so six and 42 hundredths. Now I need to go back and look at my numbers. Which one has a greater absolute value? The 9.67 does. So my answer is positive, just like this number, positive six and 42 hundredths. Next one. This one's really going to test your ability to work with decimals, make sure they're lined up. It's also assessing you on when do you actually add, when do you actually subtract when you see the numbers. It says addition, but this is a positive, this is a negative. So we're going to subtract. I need my number that has a bigger absolute value to be on the top. I'm going to do the algorithm and I'm going to take away 501 ten thousand, or wait, tens, hundreds, thousands, 501 thousands. So we're going to subtract, line up the decimal, 501. Now I don't have a number here, I can add a zero. So I'm going to do that so I can borrow, borrow again, this one's okay, bring down my decimal, and 3 minus 0 is 3. So, negative 3 and 96 hundredths put together with positive 501 thousandths. I subtracted them because they don't have the same sign. Now I need to look at which one has a bigger absolute value. It's this one. So my answer is also going to be negative, just like this number, negative 3.459, or in other words, negative 3 and 459 thousandths is how we say that. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay, so I see subtraction. I know I'm really just putting together negative five sixths and negative four fifths. They don't have the same denominator. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what's called the butterfly method. So we're gonna take these and multiply them. Six times negative four, always apply the negative to the numerator. Six times negative four is negative 24. And then we're going to multiply this way. We've already used the negative. It goes to the numerator. So forget about it now. This is a positive 5. Negative 5 here times positive 5 here equals negative 25. And the last part of our butterfly is the bottom, where we multiply 6 and 5, and we get 30. So now we're going to rewrite our fractions. Negative 25 over positive 30. We only apply the negative once, okay? It's in the numerator. And then we have negative 24 and positive 30. Now we can put these together. They're both negative, so we add. The answer is gonna have 30 as a denominator. We need to do negative 25 plus negative 24. We get negative 49 and we can leave our answer just like that, as improper. Okay, that's it, and then tomorrow you'll get a paper that has you um, writing your goal score for your quiz and things that you're proud of.